Hi, it's Bridget. The sun's coming up. You can probably kind of see it sneaking in over here, over my little shades that I have up. <laughs> nice to see you. I've got my purple blanket. I'm all cozied up. I have to give you guys an update. I have to give you an update. So I've been thinking about as it is March 2021, thinking about the energy of the spring, of the opportunities that come. And I've also thought about, I've done some reflection about my channeling on Above Life Channel. And looking back at this incredible experience, it's going to be, I started recording my, my, um, my channeling sessions in March and April. And of... Um, it would have been 2018 and then started sharing them. And so I'm coming up on three years of sharing public channeling with afterlife celebrity guests with the intention to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope. So it's been three years, but I've been reflecting on all this and really feeling like I wanted to do something for April where it will be the fifth year, will be coming up on, on five years since Prince made his transition into the afterlife. And many of you know, and some of you don't, maybe don't know, but I started doing public channeling sessions with afterlife celebrity guests because of Prince. So I wasn't a Prince fan. I've grown up in Minnesota and my whole life been, lived here. And so I knew who Prince was and I knew he was local. And in fact, um, right out of college, I lived out near, not too far from Paisley Park Studios in Chanhassen, where I drove right by Highway 5, like almost every day on my way to work <laughs> after I graduated from college, like my first real job, you know. I lived kind of out there and I drove right by there and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, you know, it's just a big white building. I didn't really think anything of it because I wasn't, it wasn't different. Prince is just another Minnesota guy, you know, very talented, right? So, and you, many of you know too that I was a, totally a Michael Jackson fan, like mega fan. And if you know anything about Michael Jackson and Prince, you know that there's like two camps. Either you're a Michael Jackson fan or you're a Prince fan. I had a really good friend, her name was Nicole in uh, elementary school and she was really into Prince. And I thought that was kind of like, like almost taboo, you know, like, oh my gosh, how can you, like, you can't listen to his music, it's like bad. You know, like it says like things that are super inappropriate for us as children. And so I was like, oh, ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, interesting perspective, right? Looking back, okay. So that's the thing, right? But it's coming up to the fifth anniversary of his transition and a, such a shocking kind of day and experience. And that is when I first started channeling celebrities because I was open to connecting probably because of, though there's a lot of reasons, and I talk about that. I, I started a, a blog, a free website and blog um, under the, uh, the canopy of what I called the purple medium because I'd already had my business. I'd already had my very solid, great psychic medium business and coaching business and I was good. I did not need anything else to be focusing on. And yet in some way I was open and feeling the grief, the collective grief that was happening as a result of his transition. And right away after it happened, I started experience, having experiences in my body empathically and then um, clairaudiently. So that's, uh, that's the psychic gift of actually hearing like spirit and that's not like my favorite thing because it kind of creeps you out a little bit to actually hear it unless you're like working like if I'm in a session and stuff that's fine but like just like I was at my computer I was doing something totally different and zing, like I started hearing the conversation like hearing him chatting and stuff and I almost felt like he was you know making an effort to make connections with lots of different people so that there could be this this wellspring or this grid of support for his fans and fam, they call themselves fam, not fans, they don't like to call themselves fans, fam, that have been following Prince and Prince admires, adores for their whole lifetime. And he, his energy, his spirit was really specific, wanted to make connections where there could then be like satellite kind of energy points where people who were really distraught because of his transition and 
and really having a hard time in their own lives because of it subsequently the weeks, months, and even years after that they would have places to, to seek support out, whether that be Facebook groups online, online groups, actually talking to a medium or channelers. There were other people who were channeling prints as well. And like I said, at that time, I really wasn't looking for another gig. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't looking for another job, very content with my work. And <clears throat> I just, I began just an amazing, I'm gonna get real emotional in this, just to be aware. Somebody asked me one time in one of my videos, well, why are you, why do you get so emotional? I'm like, because I'm human, because <laughs> I have a heart. <laughs> like, how do you answer that? Because I feel, <laughs> that's a good thing, right? Because <laughs> I care. <laughs> and so, I mean, that seems obvious to me, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not. But <laughs> I just, it's an incredible journey. And I'm very grateful, I'm very grateful. And I can't believe it's been five years. I have some incredible lifelong friends that I consider my PRDs, purple raindrops. And you'll see me reference that in the coming weeks, PRDs, and welcoming in new people who are new um, to my work maybe, and who are, are connected through Prince, through that purple channel energy, because he's so active in the afterlife as a healer. I would say if there's like a job role, he's definitely a healer. And he's for people who are at all different levels of their life walk. And <clears throat> from people who are, he works a lot too with people who are really struggling with mental health and, and mental illness in their families, not just maybe them personally, but are dealing with somebody that has an addiction or dealing with somebody that, has um, some trauma and maybe it's some PTSD and stuff like he really works deep in that mental wellness er area and it can be real tough sometimes to have like private sessions with <clears throat> some of his I keep clearing my throat I definitely have allergies let me just be clear and so I know that's annoying to some people clearing the sound of clearing my throat but I have to do it it's either that or I just don't do videos and maybe some of you would like that but for the most of you I know you want me to do videos so <laughs> I am gonna say you PRDs I love you so much and I know that we're at all walks of life and we're in all places on our journey and Prince is helping you in some way. He's either providing inspiration as a muse, bringing you music, medicine to your soul, just when you need it to uplift your mood. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did do some work on my allergies this morning on sinuses, so hopefully that will clear. I hope so. But he definitely does that communication channel. Hell yeah, yes, very much so. So he works with people on all different levels of need as far as um, wellness goes, as far as mental health goes, as far as um, where you're at on, uh, on your path, you know, in your life. I mean, he can really inspire you and be muse-like and really just encourage creativity. For me, he gives me like this hyperactive energy to really create stuff, to make stuff. And I lose track of time, like, I get into a project and I lose track of time. And, and it's been a while since I've worked with him because of my, um, the energies of what I've been working on, I think, um, in my, my psychic work, my intuitive coaching work and my mediumship work. And he was, he's very respectful of, of my space and energy. And I really appreciate that very, very much. And so it's not like, you guys, it's not like, Prince picked me to channel him. That's not at all how it works. Any afterlife spirit you can communicate and connect with, you just have to be open to it. And then of course, move some of your own inner barriers and resistance. And that's where you work with a life coach or that's where you work with a psychic medium or that's where you work with someone who can help you to identify your own inner blocks where you feel not worthy to receive their messages, not worthy to, to really connect that like spirituality is something that's so foreign and ambiguous that it seems like it's not for you, it's only for Jesus. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Which it's so funny because when I say stuff like that, Prince always kind of mm -hmm, nods his head because Prince loves Jesus, I have to say. And he's a real big fan of Jesus. <laughs> he just loves him. And he's, and he's, and I can understand why because he's really easy to be around um, <clears throat> energetically. But, and I'm not being funny, I'm being serious. His energy is really sweet, They're really nice. So, 
for me, my perspective is Prince has worked as a healer a lot and really helps to work on some things for us and get some th get us moving again. And he certainly did that for me. So here's what happened. I'm going to tell you a little story um, <clears throat> as I'm reflecting and feeling very grateful. Um, I wanted to do something to honor Prince and the incredible friendships he's given me and the opportunity he's given me to be a channel. And, I, and let's be clear, I've been a psychic for years before Prince, okay? So I'm coming up on what, how many, 17, 18 years or something? So it's not like I needed him to like build my career. It was nothing like that. It was nothing like that. I did not, and I used to say, I'm not a hearse chaser. Like, I'm not interested, man, I'm not interested. And <laughs> he's like, uh, but I knew what was happening when I was having communications with him right then and there in April, that that the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, that just kept coming, having these conversations with him, I started just recording them because it was so powerful and I wanted to be able to reflect back. Sometimes when I'm in spiritual space, I can't recall things with my brain. It just, I don't remember stuff. I don't, you see that in videos. I just, I can't recall instantly that kind of thing. I have to listen back and then, ah, oh, appreciate it as a human mind processing it, you know? And so that's why I did that. But then I created, uh, I had a friend of mine that, um, help me create a website just like an anonymous one so that it wouldn't interfere with my regular business because I did not want people to contact me just to talk to Prince because I thought I didn't number one I just didn't want that to be my work that just seemed weird to kind of just do that to me it wasn't really like super fulfilling and I felt like I didn't want to take advantage of people's grief you know of this loss and and or of of his stature his status his image his you know his his personality I didn't want to take advantage of any of that so I just did it all for free I logged everything that I was experiencing and I published a blog in audio format and I kept my identity secret for quite some time and then I think after like six months or so I finally just said fine I'm just gonna this because it was eating up so much of my time that I s started losing my other business like I actually started losing money a lot because I was doing so much print stuff and I was like oh my gosh I can't how am I gonna do this like how is this I can't keep this up so I had to kind of make a choice do I want to keep doing print stuff like it felt like it was an either or it really wasn't but I felt like that I felt kind of um like I just wanted to be kind of done with that I felt like I was serving a purpose to help people heal after in the aftermath of his, his death and the loss was huge. And then I recognized that other people that weren't even Prince admirers, followers, fans, friends, whatever, in, in the human life began to discover him in the afterlife. And it was this huge awakening. He like served to wake people up. And I really, really respected that. So I'm like, oh, how am I going to come to terms with like this and this and help people and it was, it was a very um, challenging time for me because economically it was, it was uh, tough financially, it was tough. So then I had to kind of reshift things, which I did and allowed myself to, I did much more mediumship. I, I still never did um, celebrities in private session. Aside from groups, I let myself do groups and I still do that from time to time. I'll do a group like with Freddie Mercury and um, I'll take a portion of the proceeds for that, like our channeling session that's a private group, like maybe, you know, there's 10 people, 20 people in that group. And then I'll take a portion of the proceeds and donate it to a nonprofit. Like in last year, we did it to uh, Animal Humane Society Rescue Group. This year, we did it to an LGBTQ plus group for kids. And so, yeah, so, I mean, that's the kind of thing. That's, that's how I kind of came to terms with that. I'm like, I have to, I can't, um, I had to find a way to kind of work with the energy, right? I can't, I can't just be all or nothing. It doesn't work like that. That's not the intention, right? And so, and Prince has been really great and, and supporting um, the content and things too that I choose to do. Like, it's not his deal to not channel him in private session. It's my deal. That's my choice because I don't want people to, I don't want to take advantage of people's grief, you know? And so, or their desperation to just want to connect with him, you know, I just, I don't feel like that is appropriate for me 
I don't think it's bad if other people do it, they can do what feels right to them, but that's just not my focus for my work. And so, so things changed, evolved, and grew. And I cultivated a Facebook group, an online Facebook group, for a couple of years and ran that to help support a healing environment for people to connect with each other. And when I'd get messages from time to time, I'd share them. And then at that time, I also was developing some content for a purple magic retreat. I decided to do uh, host an in-person retreat since I live in Minnesota and let some people come in and hang out and meet each other who had been talking on our Facebook group for a while. And so I hosted that, it was awesome, it was amazing. The first one was in the fall of 2017, then we had one in 2018, 2019, so we had three years of Purple Magic in-person retreats before the pandemic started. And then um, at the same time, I wanted to make sure I could offer something that would be accessible to people who couldn't travel, who couldn't take time off work, who couldn't spend the money in traveling expenses, or who couldn't afford to participate in something like that. And so I created a virtual online retreat, which is exactly what I'm going to use now. I'm going to re-release it for April. Um, and for this year, that's what I was going to do. I was thinking about it yesterday, actually. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to re-release the Purple Magic Retreat. It's kind of set up to mirror what an in-person retreat would feel like, the exact um, activities that we did when you came in person. But I, I pre-recorded stuff and I had audios for connection where you could do meditations, where he talked about specific things like on a tour of Paisley Park. And, and I did audios to create the virtual experience of that. and. Um, did some videos on site where you could see this walk that we did in the retreat by Lake Anne and through the, the graffiti bridge tunnels and by the memorial fence and all that stuff, pictures and videos and stuff I shared. And, and it's really great. It's an amazing, I'm very proud of that. That is really good work. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. And so I thought, I didn't share it in the fall of 2020. And I thought, you know what, this would be perfect to share now. And I created another subsequent little bundle of material called Spring Thing. And to encourage during the springtime, like this energy of hope and rebuilding and opportunity and optimism, and it's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Purple Magic Retreat, the virtual retreat content, and re-release that. So that's one way people can participate. And then I'm also going to take some of the spring thing stuff and I'm going to use that as bonus content for people who decide to do this whole experience where I'm also then going to facilitate during a weekend, April 10th and April 11th, 2021, April 10th and 11th, I'm actually going to be popping on live either through a Facebook or through a Zoom format and facilitating. So we're going to have conversation together. We're going to talk about our Prince memories. We're going to have um, room for some healing. Maybe we'll do some energy work for healing activations to shift energy. Um, I'll probably like when I do the in-person retreat, I actually have a blocked off time for specific channeling or a message. And so we'll probably do like a welcome message from from him in the afterlife and it's not long it's not like an hour it's like maybe 10 minutes kind of a thing and then start the day and then have some things that we'll do kind of on our own and then we'll come back and have different times in the day points in the day where we'll connect and we'll have conversation there'll be suggest suggested activities or things to do maybe parts referred we i might refer to parts in the purple magic retreat content, the online retreat content, and we might listen to that audio and then have a conversation about it, one of the audios, because some of them are really powerful. There's one about the elevator, and that's really heartfelt, and it can be intense, but it can be so freeing to, to go into that place and release our excess grief. And it's not just about Prince or for Prince, it's about us. That's the thing. Prince as a healer in the afterlife works with everybody. You don't have to be a Prince fan, fam, whatever. He works with everybody everybody and so that's the coolest thing about him he's very classy that way and so i appreciate that that's why he and i really work well together because i'm all about that let's let's work with people let's help them help themselves you know don't just give them the information help them discover these pockets of wisdom within themselves so that they can use their own skills you know and amplify themselves and really 
uh, amplify their own abilities and trust themselves more. You know, he's really about that. Like one of his key things is like sacred trust, which is hard, it's built, it's like a relationship. And so he and I have very similar themes and, and the work that we do, he from the afterlife, me from here. <laughs> and so I'm pleased to work with him on projects, but I can't work with him all the time because he's a lot to handle. He's got a lot of energy and a lot of now, 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 and he's very demanding. And I'm okay with that sometimes because I like to be pushed and challenged. And he's like, push, 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 push this morning. I'm like, good God, I can barely like, I had to make coffee really early. Usually I do tea for a while to make coffee, but I got my purple raindrops. PRD stands for purple raindrops, my mug out. And this is my design, by the way. I will be sharing these. You'll be able to purchase these on my merch site. I'll put links below. And if they're not available at the time that I share this video, I will share it later. This will be part of our experiences. So if you can't join in person or in the online live stream stuff, if you can't just do the retreat yourself self-paced on your own or, um, or that, because that's service. That's going to be, uh, I'm going to charge for that. So that's a service. Okay, that's a lot of work. And I'm pleased to do it. And I'm going to receive abundance, as Prince would say. You got to get paid, girl. You got to get paid. You can't be doing this stuff for free. I know, I know. But there is going to be a free offering as well. Remember what I said? That Purple Raindrops blog. That's what it was called. I had a whole website that was just focused on the free stuff, all the free content. Months. Might even be in years. I don't know if I went into two years of content or not, but lots of free stuff that you can access that I am going to open up again here soon-ish. I'm not sure when. I have to I have to pay for it because it's hosted on a website and it costs me some money and I don't really have a lot of extra access to that right now. So I'm gonna make some money and then I'm gonna open it and share it with you for April so that you have access to that. So don't, don't freak out if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't pay for this. I don't have money, I don't have a job right now. I, honey, I got you. Do you really think I would show up here and just go, oh, I'm gonna talk to Prince, too bad you can't do it. I mean, would you really, excuse me? The girl with two free YouTube channels, I don't think so. I don't even have a Patreon, I don't have a membership, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't make you pay for any of that stuff. Do you really think I wouldn't offer you something free? Of course I will, I got you, I got you. And for those of you who are like, hey, I'm feeling abundant and I want to participate and I'm excited, I got you too. So I'm going to have three levels, for sure three. The free stuff, so I'm going to, I'm going to open up the blog so everybody can access it. I'll post that as soon as I pay to do the uh, initialization of it. I have to pay for it. I have to wait to pay for that. But I will, and when I do, I'll just give it to you for free. I'll post it. You got it. I got you. Then there'll be the Purple Magic re-release of the retreat, the virtual online retreat. So you can access that content and work through that at your own pace if you choose to. I have it set up in a two-day experience. So it's really formatted so you can... I wouldn't just do like random ones once a day. It's not intended like a class or as a random drop-in experience. It's intended as a package. So if you can do it, do it a couple of nights during a week, um, during it you know, make plans for it. Make this a special thing for you because the energy is supposed to be congruent, okay? Um, then you can go back and revisit stuff, but once you went through it, then it's, it's, it's created as a sac sacred container, a healing container. So if you could do it on a weekend, like a Saturday and a Sunday, or break it up into like a Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, you know, that's perfect. And even if you could go away for the weekend, go to the cabin or... Uh, haul yourself up in the bedroom or something and do it, then that's your time. That's perfect. That's exactly great. So that you're going to have access to that virtual purple magic retreat. That's going to be a service for purchase. So you can have that. And the third level is going to be that with the retreat weekend, which I will host for you where we'll have some times during um, April 10th and 11th, Saturday and Sunday, where we'll be popping in and connecting with each other. Don't freak out if you can't come to all the little appointments or events or what have you. I'll do a schedule so you'll know what's gonna happen when. We'll do like an opening with like a welcome message from our purple friend. And then um, I will carve out one, um, one little block of time probably 
um, to do some kind of channeling direct with him. Um, but the rest of the experience will be focusing on some of these kind of core foundational pieces that come through in the Purple Magic virtual online retreat. So that, that came through as a result of the desire for the healing to occur. And so we'll work on some of these, these intuitive topics and components. The goal is going to be to help you work through your own blockages or barriers so that you can be the best person you can be. So it's a collaboration between his stuff, his legacy, his energy, working with the grief of his his transition, but also using that for power for yourself. And that's where I come in, because I can help with that. So it's kind of a combination of the purple magic, mediumship stuff. There's gonna be a little bit of the psychic stuff, but there's also gonna be uh, coaching stuff that is with that. So. And, and if you've come to the in-person retreat, you know what to expect anyway, kind of. So you've been there. So it'll mirror that, you know. It's not going to be like you have to be online from 10 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. It's not like that. But there will be times during the day where you would want to carve out that weekend to, to be um, accessible. So we'll be done by, for sure, probably by 2 or 3 on Sunday, for sure. And um, Saturday is going to be the big day, I'd say, with multiple options for air for connection. And you don't have to be there for everything because I'll record stuff. It'll either be on like a Facebook page or on a Zoom platform or on a private website just for you. So don't worry. You'll still be able to access that stuff if you can't even... If you can't be there that weekend, you have something else going on, or, but you still want to have that experience, you can do that too. So there's three levels that you can access. The free stuff on the blog, the virtual magic, uh, purple magic retreat, the online version there, the re-release, and then you can use you can have the third level, which is that, and the facilitation experience of the purple magic retreat, which will be April uh, 10th and 11th. It'll be awesome, you guys. I am excited. I'm really getting excited now as I'm just talking to you about it. And this just came through today. So how this popped up was yesterday I was thinking about it. Then I went for a walk with my husband and we decided to stop at the grocery store to get some some yummy food for dinner that night. Last night I was like, what should we get for dinner? Let's get let's pick up some chicken and get some cool veggies and stuff. And so we did that. And as we're checking out, I saw the People magazine which was Prince on the cover. And I was like, oh my gosh. I said, how much is this? I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's too much. I don't want to buy this. And so I didn't buy it. But now today I'm going to go back and buy it because I thought this would be the coolest video to take this and go through it with you guys and talk about this. You know, because when I look at images, or when I listen to music, that opens up for me the channel because that's what happened that day. That's what happened on April 21st in 2016. And my life is forever changed, especially because I've been gifted with the opportunity to communicate on a more broader basis with a variety of different afterlife celebrity guests. And I've worked with people from all over the world now because of those connections, inspiring your spirit, filling you with hope and empowering you to live your life, the best life you can, to really understand and appreciate that. And I know you do. I know you do. All right, so this has been a long video, but I, I just, I wanted to express my excitement and how this process unfolds. It's like eight o'clock in the morning, you guys. And this all kind of unraveled, started yesterday. And then this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. I did my morning meditation and then I'm like, oh, I have to do this. <laughs> I'm like, I feel Prince. <laughs> I feel him. And usually, like, it's not like he comes in and is like standing there, hey, bugging me or anything. But I was like, I had asked yesterday because I was open. I was considering. I was thinking about. I was asking in my mind. I'm like, what should I do? And I was thinking, well, I could, you know, share the spring thing, share some content that I've had before, stuff, stuff that I've kind of has previously been offline for several months now. It's not available right now for you to access and reshare that, re-release it kind of a thing. And I thought, that's kind of Prince style. Let's do that maybe. And that might be good. And then I kind of just left it set aside because I got time. I mean, it's more than a month before that, that's, that special um, date. And so I thought, well, I got time. And, and so I opened up to ask. I, I asked by thinking about it. So I opened it up. And so then I was able to receive. And that's exactly what happened. So now I'm like, oh man, he's like, push, push, push. I get up, I'm like, okay. I'm so energized that I can't even do yoga. Like I can't calm myself down to do yoga. So I'm like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna walk. 
I posted some stuff on my Facebook page. I told my husband right away, I'm like, I need to launch this as merchandise because this feels really good and I want people to feel connected and we gotta do it soon so that people can have it before. And I'm like, we need some stickers, we need some stuff, you know? And so he's like, okay, it's like 7.30, okay. Okay, it's getting ready to work, and I go into work, into the office, and I'm like, okay, but but I but 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 I need this, I need this. <laughs> it's like, okay, simmer down, simmer down, and so I'm like, um, I had tea, and then I'm like, I'm making coffee, and he's like, oh my gosh, I'm sure my husband's going, oh good lord, save me now, <laughs> good lord, save me now. So I'm like, I gotta have to go talk to Prince for a while. He's like, okay, you go, you go right ahead. So there we go. But right away, I got the date, April 10th and 11th. That's for the advanced, the third level of experience. And I'm going to be working on getting some um, moolah to be able to open up that website. So that's what I'll do next. I'm thinking I, I should think of something to do. Maybe I'll do a live stream and get some super chats or donations or something, and then I can then I can pop that, that sucker right open. That would be cool, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that, I'll have to think about it. It's not like I didn't have anything else planned, like I have something else I wanna do in March too, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna work on this today and then kinda see where it goes from there. I had a weird night's sleep, you guys. I was really restless and I had a lot of weird, um, specific images, thoughts, stuff that happened. Nothing super scary, but just intense stuff and I know I was having visits and experiences actually and interacting with people. <laughs> It was weird, but none of them were prints. And then I woke up and then I went, oh, wait a minute. You know, after I did my channeling and stuff, or my, I did my media, or my mediumship for myself. Yeah, that's basically what's happening. Um, I did my meditation. I did some tapping to help, help with my sinuses and they feel better right now, actually. And then tapping is EFT. If you're not familiar, emotional freedom technique, it works with the meridians and helps heal by moving the energies and stuff. It can be your thoughts, it can be emotional, it can be physical, whatever. And um, so I was doing that and then boom, he was like right there. It was just like, shoo, I was like, oh. And, and I gotta be clear, and it's so funny because I emailed, all right, sent a text message to one of my PRD friends, one of my really good besties. And my purple bestie is one of my purple besties. She knows who she is, so I'm not gonna mention her name here. I don't wanna embarrass her, but uh, she knows who she is. I sent her a message with the picture of the People magazine. I'm like, I thought about you, did you see this? Because I was thinking I should buy this and send it to her. And then she sends me a picture back of it sitting on her shelf in her office. I'm like, oh, I guess she doesn't need it because she's already got it. She goes, oh, so sexy, she says. And I, then I'm like, laugh out loud, ew. And then she says, oh, I know, not for you, for me, she says. For me, I just think he's so amazing. And I'm like, oh, she goes, I know he's not, I know he's not for you. He's not that way for you. I'm like, yeah, because he's like my brother, you guys. Prince feels like my brother, okay? He does not feel, <laughs> he feels like that. So I can't say no to him, of course not, you know? Of course we're gonna work on some projects together. That'd be a great thing. So whether you're a Prince fan or not, I think you might actually enjoy this experience. So think about it. The retreat is really a cool thing. So I'm excited now. I'm like, so I got my big, oh my gosh, my smile. I can feel my cheeks like just, oh, okay, good. All right, so I'm sending you a lot of purple love. The purple floodgates are open. So my creative process is flowing. I'll keep you up to date on the details. Right now you can save the date of April 10th and 11th if you're interested and watch for additional details. All right. Oh, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching, for supporting this amazing journey. I have a lot of gratitude. Can't believe it's been five years since I first channeled a celebrity in the afterlife. Oh my gosh, the one since I started. And then just a couple of years, two years after that is when I opened up Above Life channel on YouTube. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much.